Hello, welcome to Calendra Sistan, a uh, Thief fan mission, a Thief Gold fan mission that is uh, from late 2000. Now, I'm going to play this on the extra difficulty, which they've termed Garrett, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, let's get it started, and I'll give the introduction once we're into the mission. Garrett, I know we agree not to see each other. There's a party tomorrow night, and you're the only man thief enough to be my escort. Hey, who's there? Hello? You heard of the Weeping Angel Tavern? It's near my new apartment on the south side of town. I heard the owner, Lady Calandra, is closing the tavern early in order to throw a lavish party. An elite few were invited, and among them, a count seeking payment for his delivery of a certain ill-gotten relic taken by crime from swamps in the other south. I don't know much about it really, but as far as the party goes, we're invited. I'll expect you in the Weeping Angel's wine cellar by midnight. There is a secret door there to the place the party is being held. As always, Mercedes. Oh, I think it's formal dress, so I'll be wearing black. Alright, um, so... There's three difficulty levels. Uh, that's easy. That's uh, sorry, normal. That's hard. Expert. And uh, there's a bunch of extra bonus objectives, which is kind of what I'm just an expert. Now, anyone was watching the stream the other day, I did already start this mission and got uh, quite a way into it. Um, but I was missing a couple of the objectives I needed. I was not finding places I needed to find. And I was not recording because I was not in a great mood that day. So I'm starting it again because the mission was more interesting than I uh, expected. It was quite fun to explore, so I'm going to record it and stick it up on YouTube this time. So I'm starting again, but I have a little more clue now what I'm doing and where I'm going, so hopefully there'll be less random running around lost. So, objectives. Locate the Weeping Angel Tavern, break in and meet Mercedes in the White Hill by midnight. This is business. Find the relic she mentions and steal it. A party of rich nobles is just the place to pick up 2,000 in loot. There's a rare sapphire vase kept by a wealthy collector in this part of town. Break into his house on your way to the Weeping Angel and make it yours. You have a mind to steal something less tangible than gold tonight. Mercedes can watch out for herself, but don't let her come to too much harm. Ragnar the Gold, City Watch Captain, has been invited to Lady Glendra's party and his penchant for wearing gold armor will make him easy to spot. Leave Ragnar in the hands of Lord Alhazard. A shady art collector that Ragnar has been trying to bust for weeks. That way you can keep your hands clean and get him off the back of honest thieves. And finally, a true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. So, Lord Alhazard, uh, the shady art collector, is the same collector, I believe, that I have to steal the Sapphire of a house from. So we can break in, steal his, his uh, art collection and leave an unconscious body there for him. Hmm. Okay. So that was, that was within an objective I just never found that this Lord of its place, so I didn't manage either of those objectives last time. And Mercedes died because we got ambushed and I didn't have the equipment to fight. So, but anyway, we'll, we'll start the mission again. I know a little more what I'm doing, I can buy better equipment this time. And hopefully, not die so much. First things first, let's go to the shops. Garrett, I'm keeping the shop open just for you. My lacquer assistant Dibbler may be snoozing, so just come on in. As usual, we accept only gold, but I know that won't be a problem for you. Per your request, I transferred a small amount of your extensive funds to store credit. 500 gold should start you out nicely. Feel free to return during the course of the night as you acquire additional funds. It really is a game to you, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. I don't mind keeping the store open late for an artist such as yourself. Farkas. Where's my store credit? Thank you. 
All right, so this is a custom, uh, not the usual thief store, there's a custom store, this map I made, where you actually just go in and pick up the items you want to buy, which is a little inconvenient, because sometimes it's hard to select, you know, am I trying to read the plaque, or am I trying to buy things? What do I have to begin with? I have my blackjack, I don't have a sword, I have one water arrow, and three rip arrows. That's it. Okay, that's not bad. In terms of the rip arrows, it's pretty good. Um, I will want more water arrows. I'll definitely want some blackjacks. 25 gold for a quiver of five. Let's get two of those. Okay. And uh, what arrows? Let's say... I don't know. How much money do I have? I'll just keep an eye on my total. I know I can get a few more water arrows and uh, things around the place. Alright, a seven. Do I want anything else? Like healing potions, fire arrows. I think I can get almost everything else. How much are flash bombs? 200. I might have to get one later if I would need one. They're pretty expensive. Last time I bought that dried frog too, and that was a mistake. Uh, I'm just going to fill up on water arrows, I think. Because there's a lot of torches I wished I could have put out last time, but I didn't. Ten water arrows. Ten board heads. Three rip arrows. That's not bad. See you later, Dibbler. Oh, I actually just want to save. So... Let us... Climb up here. Now... Apparently, the art collector's place is just over to the right here or something. That was what I have been informed from uh, the forums. Several other people also failed to find it. There's a gap there. I wonder if I can mantle into that. Let's try it. Oops. Ah. Not like that. Ouch. I'm going to reload and try that again. Bloody roofs are not good for running on. There we go. Well, maybe not here. Maybe this is just a dead end after all. Okay, that's just dead space. Kind of, uh, look, I mean, they blocked this one off, right? Why didn't they block these two? Seems a little bit uh, sloppy. But anyway, anyway no, no big deal. Uh, maybe it's over that wall, or maybe it's just out. Once we get out here. In any case, I know there's some uh, loot in here, which I found before, so I'm going to go grab that. Chest. A little bit, only 12 gold there. Not really much at all. Not really worth it. There's a face there, for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. There's a bunch of them scattered around town. But we have a speed potion. If I ever need to use it. I actually was running away a few times last mission. I forgot about my speed potion, but uh, it's because I never have a shortcut for it. Alright, let's check the map. So, we're starting out here. So, I believe the art collector's place I was missing is just in this area somewhere. It's either to the right, just here. Well, it doesn't appear to be here, so it's probably just here. We're trying to get to the Weeping Angel, which is down in this area, but I'm going to explore all of this and loot what I can on the way there. forward to the other part of town, but I can't get through the gate from this side. But we have <clears throat> Is someone there? No no no. <laughs> oh what was that? So uh 
Get you, sir. Hey, who broke the window? I think I'm gonna faint. And he faints. It's convenient. Oh, yeah, I don't even need to knock him out. Lord. Oh. Uh, is there a secret room in here? Is that the time scan I'm hearing or a guard? I'm not sure. Either way, not a problem for now. Take what little loot he has. There's no fire arrows in the fireplace. Yeah, he doesn't really have much loot at all. Uh, okay. Uh, last time I got a bonus objective to rob his place, and I don't remember where, but I haven't got it now. But I mentioned that his place had been uh, already hit twice this month, so he was his nerves were likely shot. Can I get up here? Well, these roofs are much more climbable than I thought. Sometimes there's nothing on the other side but the edge of the map. Okay. It's also a bit dangerous to go down because it's very fast. Also, last time I did uh, manage to hurt myself several times, climbing clumsily around in this area and falling to the ground. Um, ah! Like so. That was not my intent. There's... I'm trying to get onto that next ledge down. Let's try that again. Nope. Well, at least I landed in the water. That's fine. I didn't take any damage. So I'll accept that. <laughs> Easy, easy to get back up anyway. Uh, I'm losing my uh, upstream band, but it seems a bit wobbly today. Um, not quite sure what I do about this. Maybe I might just try rebooting my router when I take a break. That'll be in a little while. Let's try this jump from here. Much better. And somebody left a little bottle of valuable wine there on the, on the edge. Do I want to jump back? Sure, why not? <laughs> so, these windows don't open, do they? Nope. Oh, there's a window there, I forgot about that one. Hello? Your coin is lying on a table next to an open window. It's uh, just asking for me to come and take money. Actually, no, do do it. It's quite nice. I like the money. It's a good, good plan. I'll keep doing that. Alright, there's, there's a gap trolley somewhere down below, but I don't really care. I'm just going to go up and over this noisy roof. It's a very noisy roof. Now. Careful. Can I stand on the top without falling down? Apparently not. So there's a beam there. I could, in theory, get up on that. I'm sure there's a point. Let's just go down to the ledge and assess the situation. Um, I've got a beam there for rep errors. I could do potentially climb higher up here. I don't know if there's a reason to. I'm going to say, but I don't have rep errors to waste. But I'm going to try a rep error on that beam. See if I can get anywhere interesting. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, got it. He's uh, confused about getting on the rope versus climbing up the roof right now. And making a ton of racket. I don't think I can even get on the rope, can I? Beam. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think I'm supposed to be up here, do you? I can see into bits of the map that I'm not rendering properly. There's nothing up here. 
Okay. Whoops. Careful, careful. <laughs> Can I get my rope back? Thank you. Okay. Back down here. Oh god, didn't hear me. Wherever he's patrolling. Alright, so somebody has left a chest <laughs> lying in the room here. And that's for me. And a little candlestick, and there is a ladder here that will take me out to the roof, but I don't think I want to be on this roof. So. Nice for Santa, but I don't think it helps me get anywhere I need to be. Again, without uh, failing to grab a ladder, I'm always need to remember if I'm about to interact with the ladder. Uh, I need to jump. I'm oh, sorry, I need to save. Because, uh, if you don't save and you fall off the ladder, well, bad things happen. Alright. Speaking of ladders. in this tower at all, except a bell, which I don't need. And it's a bit too heavy, even for Garrett Master Leaf to pick up. Right, so I can get up on those ledges up there, and may do so soon, but first let's come to this area. There's the patrolling guard walking around. There he goes. Not my concern right now. Somebody's stacked a whole bunch of rubbish in this alley, and uh, if I remember right, there was something underneath it. Another rope arrow. Great, four rope arrows. And I didn't find another single thing in this area. I don't know if I'm just blind or missing something. There was up there, I believe there was something, but uh, maybe. Yeah, I've definitely looked at something up there, but I don't think I can get there from down here. Unless I can get on the roof of this place. Oh, hang on, is that another guard? To the north? Huh. Hmm. Oh, no, I think the guard's up there. I think the guard's up there. This door doesn't open. Can I get on this roof? It looks way too steep to uh, climb on. And uh, that's way too high for me to clamber up to, as far as I can tell. I believe there's going to be another way there. I can't remember for sure. Back over to the other part of town. can clamber though is up onto that roof. And I believe that will give me access. Did I mention I don't have rope arrows to waste? No, I just wasted one. Let's hope the remaining three are sufficient. No 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 can I, can I, can I get my rope? Thank you. Right. Can I get up there? It doesn't look like it. I need to get over to there. So that's going to be another rope and a jump. And, uh... Ah! Alright, that didn't work. Oh, this is just before I wasted my rope arrow. Nice! 
try doing that better this time. Less death, please. <laughs> I should probably put the rope a little further along. So that I have a better angle on the on the wall here. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I know where this is. This is somewhere I struggled mightily to get to over these pipes, and it turns out I, the struggle was not needed. So there's a nice orange texture there, which is where um, I think another one of the spaces is supposed to be, but they never they made a mistake. Heads. Does he have any loot on him? Thought I saw something. No, no, you saw nothing. Sleep. Sleep now. Up here. Alright, so I'm already uh, a little confused about things. <laughs> already a little confused because I thought I understood from the descriptions on the forum as to where this art collector's house should have been, right near the start. And yet, I have not seen it. I have not seen Hide No Hero, so I am going to have to check that again when I stop for a break at the rim of the hour mark. It's about 40 minutes, I guess. If I haven't, if I've explored all the town before then, and looted it all, then I might just uh, do that right away, but otherwise I'll wait until I take a break. Okay, so we're up here now, and up here we have a rope right there that I uh, was rather incautious with. There is a friendly guard. And when I say friendly, I mean, you know, hostile. Just hiding in there waiting for us, I believe. <coughs> Ow! Carrot, be a little more sure-footed, will you? Let's pick the lock here and uh, see about the girlfriend. <laughs> Nobody respects guards anymore. this roof and end up here, but uh, I guess this is easier. So anything out here? I never really looked too carefully last time. And, you know, I like to hide loot in out of the way places, in dark corners. Anyone around? Seems quiet. Doors that aren't doors and windows that aren't really windows. Ah, here we have the aqueduct. The park. Not a very exciting park, and it seems a rather barren park as well. I would hope for something to pick up. Not even any apples growing on the trees. Okay. I do like the aqueduct though. I found a water arrow in there last time. <laughs> I also died falling off it. Scarab Master Thief and uh, rather less than Master Gymnast sometimes. Oh, water arrow. So it's, it's fortunate for me that there's very few guards around town at the moment. Quite a lot harder to get around though. I don't know what's up there. Can I get up there? Can I climb on this lap? <laughs> I can get up here, but uh, it is again 
Nothing but the edge of the world. Uh, they were making the map and didn't really plan out how people would, you know, making these areas inaccessible, that's fine. Normally it's just a little bit harder than that to get to this kind of edges of the map and sort of areas. Just make a jump. Try not to hurt ourselves. this? Money? Uh, noise maker arrow? Okay. Take it. Nothing at top there. Also locked. This brings us out above the, this is the inn that we need, the Weeping Angel Inn, that is our ultimate objective. So we have found the place, now oh, that's the courtyard there, but I'm not going to go there just yet, I'm going to creep down these rather overly noisy stairs. They're all metal, so uh, I'm not creeping out clank a lot. And here is the gate that we couldn't open. From the other side. Not much convenient switch on this side. And this is where we just were, uh, we went that way just a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's the aqueduct. Right, so back to the other part of town. I know I've definitely missed a few uh, buildings here and there. Obviously, not least this art collectors that is so hard to find. We're being able to look out for this guard. Oh, you're not the guard. As someone said, it was here. You go to the shop and face right. Something like that. So I'm going to take another look around this area. Farkas Associates Outfitters Inc. It's written on the sign in invisible letters, but I can read it. Um, it's not this house, is it? Let's start facing right if I'm at the shop. Uh, Oh! Oh! Oh, there's this little archway here that is all brick. We start here, and it's almost invisible there, and I just never saw it. Alright! Uh, okay. And I don't know if it's really on the map. Is it really on the map? No, it'd be down here, I think, if it was on the map, right? Yeah, that's. Wait, that's Fox's. Um, no, it'd be along this way. Which kind of leads to a different bit of the map, according to that. Alright. So here we are. Clear out of here, rogue. This is no place for you. Yeah, alright, alright. I'll clear out. Yeah, normally I wouldn't walk right up to an armed guard, but uh, I did again the same thread where they were telling me where to go look for this place was telling me that uh, he was not hostile when you're on the outside of the building. Well, easy way into the backyard. What's down here? Another gate, but I see a switch. Oh, I see. So it's looking west. So one, if, once we get around to this part of the map, we can probably open that switch and get back here if we need to. If nothing else will be a shortcut back to the shop. Right, so we know we've got a guard outside the front door. Did I miss anything here? Nope. I could get on the roof, but it looks like a noisy metal roof, so I will probably not do that. I'll just <laughs> climb over this convenient back wall into the back garden and pick the lock. Somewhere. Alright. 
Oh, there's tile floors there. Less nice. Oh, wait, is he, is he the one out the front? There's a window. He might be the one just out the front door there. Let me sneak carefully across the tiles. Wonder if I can take a peek. Maybe he's upstairs. It sounds I'm really not sure where the sound's coming from. But there is a guard. He's not patrolling. He's standing still, and there's lots of noisy floors. So if I'm not careful, I will be heard. Let's try upstairs because the stairs are stone. They're fairly quiet. And it's dark, so I can definitely should be able to get a look around. See what I'm up against. Yep, there's a guard there. See if we turn around. No. Will he see me here? Hopefully not. I have to creep quietly. Or he will hit me. He's blind as a bat. Thankfully. Sir! Sleep now. On the bed, if you don't mind. Close enough. Alright, we've got a locked chest. Yeah, I'm gonna need a key for that. I can't pick that one. Someone's been investing money in high quality locks. There's a ladder going up. There's a note. What's this note say? Dear brother, my collection of antiquities is really beginning to grow. So much that soon this tiny mansion will no longer hold all my valuables. I do, however, have a dilemma. There is a captain of the watch named Ragnar who is putting quite a dent in every sort of illegal enterprise. It's just not fair. From the petty thief to the smuggler to the fence, everyone's feeling the pinch. My antiquity collection will have to wait until Ragnar can be dealt with. He'd better hope he never meets me in a dark alley. With love, your brother. Alright, so if I didn't realise that this is where I needed to bring Ragnar, now I know. Uh, oh, that's Lord Elhouse at the Athlete himself. Well, he might find Ragnar asleep next to him when he wakes up. I want to cut down the banners, but I don't have a sword. Who puts banners in a fan mission and then doesn't give you a sword to cut them down with? It's just cruelty. Oh, uh -huh. this looks important. Well, not that, but I mean the safe. Look, what have we got? Nothing in the barrel. Get out of the way. Uh, combinations. A button. A whole pile of lights. This is a puzzle. And uh, I guess that must be his med his safe where he keeps his priceless emerald vase. Come on. Barrel, out of the way. Let's... Hmm, I wonder what the combination is. I... Nothing's changing. I guess I better look around and see if I can find any clues. So I don't want to set off an alarm at least. Not at least while there's still, well, there's still a guard knocking about. So, back down the stairs. Is that the front door? No, surely not. However, it's a door we can get blocked to. Is the front door. Well, there is a spot of tile there, so I'll creep slowly. I can't quite reach him from there. There you are. Oh, look at that. Sleep on duty. Terrible. Alright, I think I might be clear now inside the house. Can't hear anywhere else. So let's have a look at this ground floor. What do we have? Sierra. Bath, which has nothing in it. To steal. Little, little 
little statue, or like valley little fuzzy thing. Oh, uh, I meant to grab the vase, but there was a secret switch behind it to a secret room. How nice. Check them in a second. Let's just steal all his loot. He doesn't appear to have any valuable books. Alright. But he does have valuable stuff here. I'm going to need a key for that as well. Where does this go? What? Are you telling me he just has an open window to one of his secret chests? Just around the back of his house? Seems a little insecure. Well, anyone could just come up here, <laughs> climb in. Unless, unless... Unless, is there a switch on the inside here? No. I was about to say, unless the window, the door, uh, the wall there is also opened by the same switch. Maybe. Can't tell. Oh, the painting's really cool too. Uh, right. I'm just gonna check that, because that's very weird if you just have a secret passage there that's constantly open. No, it closes too. Yeah, it closes at the same time. That's a bit more sensible. It's actually so switch down here. There's some secret way into his house in case he gets home late at night, very drunk, and doesn't want anyone to witness it. Apparently not. Alright. So, good news um, is that we have found the Art Collector's Mansion and looted most of his stuff. The bad news is he has a combination on his safe and I don't know what it is. And I don't know how to find out what it is. Well, that's kind of a lie. That's a little bit of a lie because... Well, I don't know how to find out what the combination is. Is this a valuable painting too, by the way? Yes, it is. Alright, I'll take that. We have 993 total loot. Um... Again, when I was trying to find out where this guy's place was, uh, I was led to discover... There's no key on him, does he? No. I was... did end up going through threads where people were trying to figure out the puzzle and, um, not succeeding. Uh, to open the safe, and I do know of that there is some kind of puzzle involving combinations and switches. It's probably a mastermind sort of thing. Um... And it can fail. Yeah, like, firstly, sometimes it's buggy. Secondly, you really only get a few chances at it. So, well, this might be a nice piece of scripting. I'm not sure it's actually good piece of gameplay. Well, that's not doing anything helpful, is it? So numbers two and three are correct, I'm guessing that means. Three, three, one. I tried one there. I don't think I tried five. I don't think I tried three. I don't know, we've lost one now. What did I have before? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure this makes some, means something to the people who designed it, but it means nothing to me. Uh, and without a combination, this kind of... Those two in the middle now, but that was back to five, five, then what? Hit one of them. Two of them. Two in the middle, okay. What does that mean? Does it reset itself? I don't know, we've got two lights in the middle and four lights on the outside. And the number's changed. Okay. No. getting near to having more lights in the middle. I think that's good. Maybe. Right. Presumably then worse. Nope. Well that didn't make anything apparently worse. Let's Try all the numbers there. No. Oh, okay. Well, got lots of trial and error, and uh, no idea whether we're making progress. Except more lights meant more progress, I guess. Here is his priceless sapphire vase, and a gold nugget. Okay. Uh, I was hoping there would be a key in here because it has, he has two chests that I need keys for, that I don't have any keys for, right? I didn't pick up a key anywhere along the way, did I? No. Well, we have still stolen his sapphire bars. We have one objective complete, and that's the one I completely missed last time, so I'm definitely making better progress now. Let's go back down, search his bedroom, see if he's got a key hiding anywhere. I wonder if it's like behind this banner and I, uh, no, if anything, I could chop it down. See, so blackjack does nothing to it. Um, because I can't. There's this chest and the other one in the secret room. I can't actually. See, it's not hiding a key in this chamber pot. No. Nope. Nor under the stairs. Nor on what about the window ledge? Oh. Hmm. I may have to try and obtain a sword somehow and then come back and see if there's anything behind here. Now, technically, with banners and stuff, if there is secrets behind them, you can often just lean through and grab stuff even if you can't see it, but to me that feels a little cheap. Uh, so I'm not going to try that unless I'm desperate. And to be honest, those aren't objectives, so I'm not desperate. If it was needed for an objective that I had good reason to believe was hiding behind a banner I couldn't cut down, I would, I would happily do it. But just for loot. No, it seems a bit, a bit unsporting. Doesn't appear to be anything up on top of there, or nothing under his throne. Oh, and this one I also believe I could not pick. Yeah, so it's probably the same key for that one. It's not like it's hiding in here, is it? Oh, all right. So I know where the art collector says this place is. I know where I need to take Ragnar when I find him. And uh, I have one of my objectives complete, and I have quite a lot of money now. I have 759s worth of gold, 
almost actually at the total objective, but I have now enough to buy some more equipment. And I'm right near the shop, so I actually might just do that. Let's check the prices again, but uh, I wonder if, how much is a fire arrow? 300. How much does I have? 700? Yeah, 759. Hmm. I have 15 broadheads, right? Yeah, because I picked them up. Okay, so I probably am okay for broadheads. I'm going to need quite a few, but 15 should probably be okay. I'm going to pass on the gas arrow. Ah, uh, flash bombs. I might just run away instead of using flash bombs. So I guess mine. Yeah, wow, 625, that's expensive. Alright, let's buy a fire arrow. <coughs> Um, what are those doing for what arrows? 11. Let's just buy the rest of the what arrow stuff. You never know. What am I going to handle? Now I have 300 gold left, which is. Well, how much are these? Moss arrows. 125. I'm not sure I'm going to need them. I might. Got 300 left, let's buy one flash bomb. And... All that stuff's way too expensive. And I'll just buy another packet of uh, broadheads. They're good for distractions, if nothing else. All right. Now I'm much better equipped. And I have a whole bunch of loot. We've got a total of 968 even after our spending, so we're still about halfway to the loot objective. There's definitely more where that came from. Unless I... Did I miss anything at ground level down here? That's an interesting question. I know there's the guard patrolling that we kind of left alone. But I didn't really stop to see if uh, there was anything else now. Can I maybe jump into the canal? Yes. Some dark in this corner. The guard friend about. He does not appear to be. I thought I heard his footsteps just around the corner, maybe it was mine. Thief friend of his own footsteps. Alright, I haven't yet been up there, have I? Patrolling guard friend. Don't tell me you like filling the canal and drowned. That would be a tragedy. Oh, there he is. I don't know where he went. Maybe he went up the other way. Do you have any loot on your little <coughs> belt there? Oh, that's right. He comes really close to this corner. Boom. Too close for my liking. So he's about to walk into me and just discover me from uh, running into something that he couldn't see. So let's not have that. I've been up to the tower. I have not yet been up here. We have Taverny Place. We've got more ledges and stuff. Alright, no, I have been up above here. I have been at street level. But I'm still missing something. I'm still missing a place I've discovered last time. Which I would like to discover again. Kind of useful. Yeah, that's where our friend the uh, guard lived. Where's my map? Maybe the place I'm remembering was down here. I don't know. I don't know. I think it is probably time for me to head towards the primary objective, the Weeping Angel Tavern. Meet our uh, the main 
Paige, Lady Mercedes, down in the basement. If I can find the way again. It's this way, isn't it? No. This way. This way. So, the Weeping Angel Tavern. I believe it's locked. And we're going to have to sneak our way in. There's not much up here except, uh, I guess I could do some jumping from here, but I don't think it's, I think it's safe to jump from down there. Let's go back down. It's pretty quiet though. Don't believe there's anybody about to bother us. Now, I'm going to stick a rope in that beam. Let's see if I can't jump across to this chimney. <coughs> well, I wanted to actually do it, not just cough out the smoke. chest in the attic. Here's a breath potion. Odd. Just a little watch room. Bartholomew, this is one of only two nights yearly the Weeping Angel closes early. Make sure everything is clean and put away. Post a brute to inform patrons that we will be serving complimentary mulled wine tomorrow night as a token of appreciation and compensation for any inconvenience. Also, if the Count comes calling before dusk, let him know there is little incentive for being early. The shrine is already sealed, and the key rests under safekeeping at my town home on Creedleton Way, Lady Calendra. And uh, there's a tavern key. Great! We can go in the front door of the tavern now if we want. Tavern, is it not? It looks tavernicious. Yeah, there's the wine cellar where we're going to meet Mercedes. But before we go to the wine cellar, let's uh, try robbing the tavern. We have like this with a fire arrow in it. I'll take that. Well, that's not a valuable painting. Well, that one is. Yoink. That doesn't move. A light switch. Hey, it's nice and bright. That's probably okay. There's nobody out. Let's just open the front door uh, so that if I do, for whatever reason, end up getting chased around here, I can get in and out easily. And let's open this gate. Nothing here in the court. Oh, there's a mushroom in the court. Yeah. Nice. I missed that last time, so that might come in handy. All right, and yeah, let's. Hiding behind the statue? No, just a statue. A note. Lady Kalindra, for several years I turned my eyes and stitched my tongue to roof of mouth with evil thread. For several years I deceit myself. Now I go. I lose my soul to trickster's fire for not giving over tenebrific party four moons a year. A bloody sin for which I pray. I go now in darkness for I fear you wrath when you read this. But pray also you sever from dreadful lilac society and may builder have mercy on your soul, Bartholomew. Oh, Bartholomew has run away. Let's pick, pick the uh, money box. And take the money and uh, let's a nice bottle of wine, some uh, goblets, and a 
um, some less than valuable ones. And uh, that is a back way into the wine cellar, but I don't think I really need it. I'll go the, I'll go the front way. Thing in the barrel, okay. And I'll send the lights off again, just in case. I always feel safer in the dark. Right. So, uh, we will proceed into the wine cellar and continue with our mission and meet Mercedes there in the next episode. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to investigate uh, why I seem to be dropping a lot of frames. It's, uh, I'm probably going to reboot the router so the stream will go offline, but I will be back here in uh, five or ten minutes for the next episode. Thanks for watching.